Welcome back to the channel everybody. What we're going to do today is our second test of our lacquer thinner, but today we're going to add something a little different. We're also going to test Cataclean. If you remember our last test, what we did was we did pure lacquer thinner with gasoline. We put fuel injector O-rings inside the test tubes and see what the lacquer thinner did to the O-rings. Now, if you want to know what happened, you want to see that video, click up here in the top right corner of your screen and then you can see that video. Last time I did a 30 day dwell time, which means the O-ring sat in the lacquer thinner in the gas for 30 days. If you saw that video, you realize that 30 days is really not necessary because most of the damage that was done by the lacquer thinner was done within the first day. So this time I'm only gonna do a couple days of a dwell time and see what happens from there. Now we have Motorcraft O-rings and we have AC Delco O-rings. All the different types of mixture I'm gonna be doing. We're gonna have a Motorcraft and an AC Delco in each one of the different types. So we're gonna do gas, that'll be the control. So those are gonna sit just in gas. Then I'm gonna have a Cataclean mix in these two and it's gonna be mixed the way that they say to mix it. Then we're gonna have pure Cataclean. Then we're gonna have lacquer thinner to gas 10 to one ratio lacquer thinner to gas, five to one ratio. We're gonna see what happens. Now I'm a little more scientific this time because I'm actually gonna do some gas mixture and ratios. And I've got some syringes to help us out with that. And last but not least, I've got a spring scale. What I'm gonna do with this is if you remember on the last video, I also pulled the O-rings apart to show how much damage it did to them. It made them weak. And as you remember, a lot of them got more brittle. We're actually gonna see what an O-ring that has never been in gas we're gonna test those, see what spring pressure they break, and then we're gonna do the gas and then each individual mixture and see how it weakens the O-rings. Let's get with it. Now it's time to put in the O-rings. We'll start with Motorcraft. One in each. And now some AC Delco. And let's seal them off with some corks. Not really gonna make a difference, but I feel like maybe it helps. At least keep the smell down in the garage. Huh. What about the gas that you spilled, you say? Hmm. You weren't supposed to see that. All right, everything's sitting there, ready to go. As you can see, this is not super scientific, but it is a little more than it was last time. And I've had a few requests on comments asking me to do a few little different ratios and other things. I decided to add Cataclean myself, and uh, I'm not gonna make a whole nother video. Actually, you're gonna see the results at the end of this video. So we're gonna let them sit for a couple days. Not gonna give you the day-by-day -day picture like I did last time. Psh, that didn't work out like I thought it was going to. So just hang on, just one second. 
and you'll see the results. You're still here? That's cool. Thank you for being patient for a second. So I told you it'd be a couple days. It's actually been a full week that I let these sit. The main reason is because I had to get another scale. I soon realized that this little bitty scale was not gonna be enough to actually break some of the O-rings. So I got a fish scale capacity up to 110 pounds. Another thing I did after I shot the first part of the video was I added two more test tubes here. And that's where I just did pure lacquer thinner with the O-rings again. So now it's time to get them out, lay them all out, See what's happened to him. Now we have them all laid out. There's no doubt you can see that the pure cataclean that they've swelled up quite a bit versus the mixture. And then obviously, just like last time, our lacquer thinner has swelled up, but way more than pure cataclean. So we have pure gas, then the cataclean mix, pure cataclean, 10 to one lacquer thinner gas mixture, five to one lacquer thinner gas, and then pure lacquer thinner. These two here are fresh out of the package. Just kind of see how much they changed. And once we put them on the fish scale to see how much weaker any of the O-rings got. So now for a quick recap, I'm gonna put them on the fish scale. I'm gonna pull them with a scribe and we're gonna see how much weaker any of them got, if at all. All right, now we have our fish scale. The only problem I have with this fish scale, the only way that it's actually gonna lock with a poundage is if it completely stops and you hold it there for a second then it's gonna lock. That's gonna be virtually impossible to do when I'm trying to break an O-ring, but I'm not too concerned with that. Not exact science. We're just gonna get rough figures and uh, see if we have anything dramatic. So first one's gonna be AC Delco, a brand new O-ring. And now our Motorcraft new O-ring. Hey, <laughs> I think it's pretty safe to say that Motorcraft was a lot stronger than the AC Delco. Now for our O-ring soaked in gas, AC Delco. Well, hopefully eventually <clears throat> everything's gonna fall off wheel <laughs> and just quit. And Motocraft soaked in gas. This is our Cataclean Mix, AC Delco. Broke pretty fast. Cataclean Mix Motocraft. These are pure Cataclean. AC Delco first. Weakened them quite a bit. Pure Cataclean Motorcraft. Lacquer thinner gas, 10 to 1 ratio. AC Delco.
and Motorcraft. Lacquer thinner gas, 5 to 1 ratio. AC Delco. <laughs> Just gonna clean my shelf off while, you're, while we're at it. Motorcraft. And last but not least, pure lacquer thinner. Man, those things swell up a lot. First one's gonna be AC Delco, and I don't expect these to be very strong at all. Now, Motorcraft. So now for the conclusion of our possibly meaningless test. The brand new O-rings for the AC Delco, the max poundage it took to break the O-ring was 35.28 pounds, and for the Motorcraft was 56.77 pounds. So all throughout the whole test, obviously the Motorcraft O-rings were a lot stronger than the AC Delco O-rings. What does that mean? Nothing really, I guess. Because I mean, you're not pulling O-rings when they're inside of a car. You're not relying on the strength of an O-ring to do anything. What you're doing is you want them to seal correctly. But what I wanted to see was how much deterioration could be caused by putting these products in your car. So by going off of strength of the O-ring and how much the O-ring has lost as far as strength, you can do percentage, then you can kind of say, well, due to that loss of strength, that the O-ring has deteriorated. So we're just looking at deterioration of the O-rings. Now with gas only, AC Delco was 28.19 and the Motorcraft was 44.90. That means they retained 79% of their strength. What's kind of cool about that is both of them 79%. So you do Cataclean mix. Now this kind of surprised me a little bit. I figured Cataclean being a um, something you can get from the store that's actually made for this. I figured there wouldn't be that much of a change and there really was. The Cataclean mix and this is mixing it exactly the ratio that they say to mix it. AC Delco was 16.09. The Motocraft was 37.17. So if you look at how much deterioration there was, the AC Delco only retained 45% of its strength and the Motocraft retained 65%. So now you can look and if you wanna go through every single figure all the way through, feel free to pause the video and look at my findings. But the Cataclean, pure Cataclean, I mean, it's almost as bad as pure lacquer thinner. I mean, you're talking AC Delco, 23%, Motocraft 30%, and if you look all the way over at Pure Lacquer Thinner, AC Delco is 19%, Motocraft is 24%, so that's pretty close. I expected Cataclean to be a lot better on the O-rings than Pure Lacquer Thinner. So, what's the secret ingredient in Cataclean? Could be Lacquer Thinner. Hmm, they're not gonna say that, obviously, but whatever is in it is deteriorates O-rings just as bad as lacquer thinner does. I mean, that is one thing that we have definitely proved today. If there's anybody out there that says, don't put lacquer thinner in your car, blah, 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 it's gonna hurt O-rings, components, all these other types of things, use Cataclean. Well, what we've proved right now is Cataclean theoretically does the same thing. When you're talking about basis of actual rubber deterioration, yes, it does the same thing. And then you look at Lacquer thinner gas 10 to 1, lacquer thinner gas 5 to 1. The 10 to 1, they retained about half of their strength. And the 5 to 1, a little bit less than that, obviously. So what do I personally think about the findings? I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to put all the rest of the contents into my car. This is a gas can that I emptied the uh, test tubes in that had the O-rings in it. Put a little funnel in here. Because if you ever use those new 
gas can nozzles, you know them things are sorry. They don't work very well at all. Pour this in here. Get it all in there because I'm a cheapskate. I don't want to waste anything. And I don't want gas going bad in my gas can. And then I'll put the rest of the contents of the Cataclean in there. Don't want to waste it. It's like $20 a bottle. And that's it. And if you've seen my video where I ran this car off of a lacquer thinner, I actually did double the amount that a lot of people recommend. I did the same thing on my wife's uh, Nissan and uh, both vehicles are still running perfect. No fuel leaks, no issues. So what do you think? Leave a comment and tell me what you think about this experiment. Maybe something I could have done different. Maybe something to do different next time. I actually did this video because I had some requests of some people for me to do it a little different way, a little different mixture here and there. So just let me know. If you liked this video, hope it helped you out. Please like and subscribe. We hope you all have a great day.